I just finished filming my March wrap up and now I'm going to pick out the books for my April TBR. What I thought I would do is that I'm going to take you with me on my journey to my bookshelves to find the books I actually want to read. Before I do that though, I will say that I have a book going right now which I'm just about to finish. I'm not going to mention it here just because I'm doing a reading blog in which I'm reading that specific book. And also I have three books on hold at the library waiting for me. So if the libraries open up during April, which I do hope they will, I will definitely put those books on my April TBR as well. The books are The Starless Sea by Erin Morkenstern as well as the next two books in the Scythe trilogy by Neil Schusterman. I think they're called Thunderhead and the Toll. But other than that, I want to find some physical books on my bookshelves which I have had my eyes on for the past weeks and which I plan and hope to read in April. Do know that I am a very big mood reader so I will probably exchange some of the books for others during the month. But for now this is what I'm feeling and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to finish at least some of them in the upcoming month. So let's take a look, shall we? So the very first book that I know I want to read in April, well, I don't know I want to read it, but I do have my eyes on it. That is this one, a nonfiction book, which I think is very important to read pretty soon, just because it's about society today. So this is definitely an option. Let's put it up here. Another book is actually a reread, and that is this one down here. It's a classic, The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. I want to reread it because I've forgotten most of it, and I kind of am in the mood for a classic these days, so that one goes in the pile as well. What else? What else? I also kind of want to get cracking. On Riley Sager so maybe this one as well if I'm in the mood for a thriller might not be but if I am in the mood for a thriller I think that it's also definitely time to finally get cracking on Claire McIntosh I don't know is this the first book or is this one this is called I let you go and this is I see you I think I put it on the shelves the way they are supposed to be read so I think this is the first one if it is, that's the one that will go on my pile. The two books are not related in any way, but I just want to read them in their publication order. What else? Ooh, down here we have some interesting books as well. For instance, this one. This is historical fiction, and I kind of want to dive into a big historical fiction these days. This one doesn't look as big, but it is very big. <laughs> it's about 500 pages and it's got a lot of writing on it. So it's one of those books that I will love to dive into and read for hours and hours, I think. So up on the pile it goes. And hmm, let me see. I have had my eyes on this one for quite some time. So why not put it on the list as well? This is the ballet. This is the ballet book. So if I want to read about ballet, there you go. And I think I'm going to, how many was that? Six books. I think I'm going to pick one more because I did read eight books in March. So this is not out of my comfort zone. And the last book, maybe this one, The River by Peter Heller, just because I'm very curious about this one. Actually, this one, let me just put it up here, or this one, because I've also been very curious about Megan Abbott, and this is the only book I own by her, so... Okay, I ended up choosing eight books, but, but as I said, I don't think I'm going to read all of this in April, but this is my selection of books I really have my eyes on, so we will have to wait and see what happens. They're looking pretty inspiring like this. I'm going to put them on my nightstand so that I can look at them every night and be very happy about the books that are coming up and also think about what I want to read next. I think that was it for my April TBR. That's quite a lot of pages. 
so I'm happy. Let me know in the comments if there are any of these eight books that you see me reading sooner rather than later because even though I'm a mood reader I do want to hear your opinion. I might just pick up that book you mentioned right away. So that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it and until my next one, happy reading. Why well, was I waving? Just because I miss, I miss society, I miss people. Bye bye.